good evening guys this should be the last video i'm going to do about all of this i hope that you guys look at the previous videos and this one and actually understand them and use them to actually be able to do your projects okay uh we had some guys complaining when i always asked uh, has the has this one done this has this one done that and some guys who come with all their frustration and be bad mouthing you and the guys the, the pay the people they know what, what i'm talking about okay so i hope this helps and uh, let's get started so in this video we are going to show how to actually use the jars created in one project in another project so first and foremostly i'll open my brackets my program editor okay it opens and actually this is what we did last time okay this is what we did last time i have the manifest I have all these things i have the come this that okay so now what i actually do is now i'll be working with this guy okay with side now what i want you to realize is that i'm going to copy the jar that was created i'm going to copy this jar copy come to side go to lib and store it there okay now this is the jar for main okay and i want to use it inside now what i do is i come to side and uh, i change uh, the folder i go to desktop uh, side okay okay now i'm inside as you can see the main dot jar is there but the other guys are empty because i haven't started doing anything with them so now i'm going to create a single file okay a single side so i'm side of java oh sorry that's with capitals s side of java and that's it okay now i'll need to use a keyword import okay i'll be importing now what am i importing i'm importing classes classes from where from a package what was the package com dot main okay i hope you remember that that was a package in which uh we stored uh, the public class main one and the other class main two okay it was this package now i will say dot main one okay uh, and then i'll put the semicolon and i'll say import com dot main dot main two okay but if i don't want to do this i could actually say import okay these two forward slashes says that all what comes after is a comment okay and it's just valid for this line okay once you go to the next line it stops the comment okay so i have import so basically if i don't want to write all of this i just come again i'm sure you guys know what i'm about to say import <laughs> come dot main dot star yes star star means pick all the classes that are inside there okay and uh, you finish with the semicolon if you don't want to write all of this you just write this okay so now i say public class side okay and then i put i open this and say uh i don't need a constructor here okay i don't want to show anything so public static void main okay string this is an array of strings again at s uh I create this okay now yeah i want to uh how can i say i want to instantiate these classes okay so yeah i'm just going to say main one main one equals main equal new you have to say new because you are creating a new instance okay this okay now i'll say main two main two equals new main two okay now you see this project i have not uh, written these classes in this project okay but because i'm importing them from this package using the lib i can write this okay and i'll actually see the messages you saw before in the command pro okay now this is all i need i save it okay 
now that i've saved it what actually does the trick and what is very important is what is going to follow okay from the command prompt so i open my command prompt i navigate to the folder desktop forward slash or backslash so this or this again it's your preference okay uh yeah i go to site okay the site project okay now i'm inside and i need to compile this thing now the compilation and the the the, the running is very 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 tricky okay but just take a look it's just said it's just one thing one small line uh, uh one small option that adds from what you already used to okay so now i want to compile this side of java and now it has this guy import com.main.main1 and main2 okay now these guys are found in the jar that we stored in lib okay so now what i'm going to do is i'm say java like java compiler okay store the result in bin okay the result of the compilation of this will be a dot class to have side the class and i'm saying it should store it in bin okay this that's what this means now here is what come becomes to be this another option in the the java compiler that is called hyphen cp okay class path class path meaning where are the classes that i need to build to compile this i need to compile this okay where are these classes obviously i need main one main two okay i know i actually need com dot main dot main one com dot main dot main two okay i need these two classes now where are these two classes found this is what you call the class path where are they found so they are found in my main dot jar okay but where is my main dot jar found in lib so i'm going to say lib forward slash okay main dot jar okay I'm saying that the classes, these classes that I need for compiling this source code, this side the Java source file, are found in lib in the main the jar file. Okay, and then now I just precise that my source, this is that is this side of Java, it's found in source, and that the name is side the Java. So this is all what adds. Okay, this hyphen cp space lib. Uh, forward slash main dot jar this says that these classes that you want to use here this one you're importing are found in the lib folder in the main dot jar file okay so you just press enter and it okay you see that is a class file that has been loaded okay now <clears throat> the other thing that that is tricky is now at the level of uh, the running okay now if you want to run that side dot class okay normally you will say java hyphen cp now this says this cp is not the same as the cp okay this cp for the java compiler says that these classes that you're importing are found here okay but now when you're using java you are trying to run this class you're actually trying to execute this class file it's java and now this class part is where this class file is this side of class file and it's found in bin so here you have bin okay and then now normally you just have to put a uh, side okay and hit enter but if i hit enter now i'll have an error okay they have an error because they, they, they are saying that complaining that they don't know uh, where com dot main dot main one is okay they don't know where main dot main two is because you have not precise that okay so what you do is java hyphen cp okay class part bin the class part is in bin because side the class in bin okay and then now instead of writing side first and foremost you have to add this very long thing but well, not so long actually hyphen hyphen two hyphens module hyphen path okay you have to add it like this then you put a space now the module path is actually where the where your 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 jar is where this jar is so this jar is found in lib okay so i have to say lib and put a forward slash okay this is a path okay this is the path you could put a backward slash if you want okay your choice okay this is the path module but the module is actually the jar file main okay and then now you say hyphen hyphen so you put a space then you say hyphen hyphen add and then you say hyphen hi uh, sorry hyphen 
modules so realize that this is hyphen hyphen module hyphen path okay but this one is hyphen hyphen add hyphen modules with s because you might have many jars that you want to include during the running okay the execution of the, the of this class file okay so now here you will want to use main so here you just side main okay don't put the dot jar the jar is not necessary here. just put main okay now suppose you had many guys you had maybe main the jar you had main one the jar you had main two the jar you had main three the jar all of them you actually have to write them here like main one then main two then main three then main four if there are one of them you have to actually put all the one of them okay that's cumbersome now uh what you actually have to do in case you have many jars like in the case of our project we have to do okay you have to put many jars we have a jars of about six to seven people you have to include in your in your own uh, project so what you need to do is you say all hyphen module hyphen path i want you to write this down because uh when we meet and we actually have to share our, our, our files, our, our, our jars, we we'll actually use this, okay? We we'll use this instead of writing all the jars names, okay? We we'll say all hyphen module hyphen path, okay? Then after that, we'll just uh, write uh, <coughs> the class, okay? The class here is side, sorry, side, okay? That's it, okay? And then you just hit enter and that's it hey this is main dot one java hey this is main dot two java hey dot one java from here main two java from here okay so that's it that's just it so you see this is what adds okay the hyphen hyphen module hyphen path lib with the forward or backward slash your preference and then space hyphen hyphen add hyphen modules okay in this case we just have one jar file which is main so instead of writing all hyphen module hyphen path you could just write main okay you write main without the dot java okay you could just write main okay and then write side okay it will still compile okay but since in our case we are going to be working with all with many jars i just prefer to show you guys this option module path okay and then you write side and then you hit it executes okay so this is the end of the video with this you should be able to create the jar run the jar and take the jar from any of your colleagues and actually put okay you just need to have the import and then the package name dot the class okay if you don't want to put all of them like this you just put the star okay that will mean main one main two and any other class that is inside okay so basically this is it i hope it helps uh thank you for following it will help you i guess i hope it's my wish so let me just say this is my new year my happy new year gift okay uh, thank you very much and have a nice evening na 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 anunaka ma banana ma banana ma banana